Why is sex such a big deal? I'm a female in my early 20s and I love my boyfriend but I just don't care about sex. I have no desire to get sweaty and smash. We have a one-year-old so obviously we've done it but I've grown to feel annoyed at the thought of sex physically doing it, seeing it on TV, hearing songs about it everything. It just seems like such a waste of time to take clothes off and not get anything out of it but the need to shower again. What's wrong with me? Update. I was not expecting the high volume of interaction on this post but I do appreciate the multitude of perspectives. I got off birth control and that has increased my libido somewhat. However, there is still more to learn regarding my sexuality and my partners now that our romantic relationship has improved. I wish you all the best in your own sexual and non-sexual relationships. Likely nothing whatsoever. Some people just don't have high sex drives. Mine is really low sometimes to the point I feel like I am asexual but then ovulation hits and I turn into a cat. I think it only becomes a problem when people start resenting their partners due to different libidos. But communication and compromise is key there. My fiancé's libido is similar to mine so most of the time we are well matched. We are physically affectionate and cheeky with each other kisses, cuddles, snuggling in bed, random bum smacks which suits us well. I suggest researching asexuality as I strongly suspect you could be asexual or on that spectrum somewhere there are variations of asexuality such as demisexuality for example. You could also be depressed or exhausted, especially if you used to enjoy sex. This would make sense as you have a young child which can mess with your mental health. You will also never appreciate sex if you are too tired to enjoy it. Hormonal birth control can also mess with your libido so that is another thing to consider. But there is likely nothing wrong with you at all and even if this is just a temporary dip, I'm sure your libido will resurface when you're in a better frame of mind. If you find you are asexual, please know there is nothing wrong with that either. The only issues you need to contend with are the needs of your partner, but as I said, if you truly love each other and crucially see the relationship continuing, communication and compromise are key. Lots of love to you and everyone else who feels there is something wrong with them because they are not wanting regular sex. You're fine. Have you never had an orgasm? Not sure. But if your boyfriend likes sex, you may want to speak with a professional to help sort it out. As others have said it is said that if the sex is good, it constitutes only 10 of the relationship, but if the sex is missing, it takes over 90 of the relationship. Which is usually the end of the relationship. You may be asexual have you always been uninterested in sex? Or maybe your boyfriend stinks in bed. Have you ever orgasmed with him? Does he make any effort to satisfy you? Have you ever used a vibrator in bed with him? You two need to talk about this. But also, keep in mind that babies are freaking exhausting and this may just be a temporary thing. If you used to be more interested, and are less so now, maybe you are just exhausted from looking after a small child. Nothing's wrong with you. All of these people are making excuses because they can't understand you. Some on the more intellectual side, who aren't necessarily asexual, find sex to be something of a chore a lizard-brained pastime like sports ball. It just isn't necessary in our lives, but most people get a kick out of it. My boyfriend makes me orgasm every time we have sex, and I'm not on birth control so those aren't factors. Sex isn't the most amazing feeling in the world I can't get enough of it. To me. I have other interests and so much other shit to do. I have sex for the sake of the relationship but it's the same as taking the dog for a walk, to me. I don't get as much out of it as he does, it's just to make him happy, and I probably wouldn't bother if he wasn't around Sue. Sure I'll have the urge every now and again to cook, or have sex, but it isn't as prevalent or insatiable a need as with most individuals. And not get anything out of it. Welp, I think this is the problem. Typically you'd get an orgasm out of the deal. You could be asexual love. It completely normal I would just discuss it with your boyfriend BC it's important for the both of you to be on the same page and regardless of how he reacts there is nothing wrong with you. You may be asexual or somewhere close to it on the spectrum.
If it's causing issues in your relationship, I would recommend talking to your partner about this possibility and maybe seeing a counselor who has experience with asexual individuals in relationships with non-asexual people. Low libido or maybe you're asexual? You should research on those too. And there's nothing wrong with you. Don't be gaslit into thinking you're the weird one or the problem if this does become an issue in the future with yourself. Also, don't let these comments shame you, because I've read a few that came off as toxic incel behavior. You have a one-year-old. Babies kill your libido, it'll grow back. Nothing is wrong with you, I recommend looking up asexuality and the spectrums of it. Maybe you'll find out what is wrong with you. Good luck. D. You have a one-year-old, that explains both why sex is such a big deal and why you aren't interested in it anymore. Felt the same way at your age. I briefly cared in my 30s. Now back to not giving a flip. You're not an interested right now is all. Your hormones are telling you to stay away so you don't have another kid. Are you using hormonal BC? Sometimes this causes it. Also, so do antidepressants. I think many people get fixated and hung up on sex and intercourse when what we all really get off on is loving and hot passion that yes, often leads to hot sex or not. We all want the human touch and to feel wanted and accepted and to be free to be close. Not get anything out of it has a baby. There's the orgasm issue but I also wonder if you feel passion. I would talk to a doctor because lack of interest desire for sex may indicate depression or other mental illness. Nothing wrong with you but you're likely asexual. Which isn't an issue but is probably worth acknowledging and engaging with. Welcome to the Asexual Club. Meetings are every last Friday of the month and on Wednesdays we wear purple. Don't look to the internet for answers like this. Talk to a pro, like a doctor or a psychiatrist. That's just my opinion anyway, take what you will. Tell him this and not. You sound like an asexual. Which is fine, just something to discuss your partner. I'm almost the same way. My boyfriend wants to have sex all the time. I do like sex sometimes but it's just so tiring. I'm most definitely asexual so it sounds like you're somewhere on that spectrum. There's nothing wrong with you. You are you. Find someone compatible. I felt much like you when I was in my 20s. 30s and 40s were a different story. Then it tapers off again. Probably nothing wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with you. Some people have high sex drives. Some people have low. Some people are asexual feel little to no sexual attraction. Some people prefer self-masturbation. If it does bother you a lot, you should talk to your partner about it. You could talk about things you do and don't like about sex if you have things you do and don't like. At the end of the day, you don't have to like sex. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Hormones play a huge role in libido and whether or not you are getting enough blood flow for sex to feel good. You may have a libido problem my girl. I pretty much always feel the opposite of what you said. You should have ER hormones checked. Either you're asexual, or you never had an orgasm and or your birth control pills are killing your sex drive they always do. If you're not getting anything out of sex that's a problem for your BF to solve. Does he just use you as a cum dumpster or does he actually try to get you off? Don't worry if you're not into it many people aren't. May I suggest are asexual? You're probably asexual, non-asexuals feel the desire and attraction to have sex, and they love it, there's noting wrong with you. I mean if someone needs to tell you why sex is awesome you'll never understand why. You're probably asexual, probably shouldn't be married to someone who enjoys and needs sex. It's pretty much one of the best thing in life for most people and keeping someone who feels that way from experiencing it is just going to cause resentment and anger. You're just wired differently. You should be getting something out of it beyond sweat and a shower. Go to a sex shop, buy some toys, and experiment with yourself. Once you have an idea of what works for you, 
Talk to your boyfriend about foreplay and techniques. Sometimes I get frustrated that my husband wants to jump me as soon as I get out of the shower, but he always makes it worth the effort to shower again. But you can't tell him what you want until you know what you want, so have fun and then bring him in on it. I'm gonna be Capitaine annoyingly obvious here but sex is the driving force of natural selection. We wouldn't be a very successful species if most of us were not sex prioritized. I guess that's the answer I can give. I don't know if it's the answer you were looking for and I'm pretty sure you were looking at this and going, no shit Sherlock, but that's the only answer I can think to give that's true. You are asexual and need to talk to your partner about it. This can cause major issues within a relationship. My girlfriend divorced her husband mostly because of it. Because you're still in your 20s. Sex doesn't get good for most of us until we're in our mid to late 30s and off hormonal birth control. Sounds like you are asexual. Leaves you with more time to pursue other interests. To be honest, I feel that society has become hypersexual so it is not the best measure. To answer your question, most people feel really good from sex. Either you're asexual meaning you are just interested in and you probably will never be into it. Or you just haven't experienced what it is to feel from sex. I highly recommend getting a fancy toy and try masturbating. If you feel good from it then you might learn to enjoy sex and can teach your partner how to make sex more enjoyable. If you don't feel great from it then you're probably ace and should to your research on what that means for you. It feels pretty nifty. Sex is fun. It's supposed to feel so good that your toes curl. If you're not getting that in bed, your partner needs to step up. Up, you might on the A spectrum or just have a low sex drive. Men peak at 18 and women at 30. Seems cruel but in my experiences I found it to be true. I don't think anything is wrong with you. It's not like you need to have sex to lead a happy life. Maybe you're just content with you have now and don't require anything else. 